Today's video is all going to be about awkward lies in bunkers. So I'm going to be facing today the uphill lie. So what to do, and I'm going to give you two options when we're on an upslope out the bunker, how do we face it? Stay tuned for more info. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I said, is all gonna be about awkward lies in bunkers. So I've just filmed a couple of videos on plugged and bare lies, and I'll put a link just up here as well. So if you're struggling on any awkward lies in the bunkers, make sure you check that one out also. Slightly different theory with what we're doing on this upslope bunker. So when we're at the front edge of the bunker on an upslope, how's the best way to face it? And I'm actually gonna give you two options. One option that is great at just getting the ball popping up the air, but won't go very far. So if you've got the flag close to you, like I have here, it's about 15 yards away, but it rolls all the way down to uh, the flag, that option is actually quite good. So this one's just gonna pop up and roll. And what to do if you need a little bit more distance out of the bunker. If you're trying to actually fly that ball that little bit further, we may have to face it slightly differently. So the first thing obviously in an awkward line, a bunker, is get the ball out, get the ball onto the green, be safe. So if one of these two options worked better for you, you may just keep going with that option rather than the two. Try them both, see how you're getting on. So I'm just gonna draw a few lines in the bunker just to help from a visual point of view for the cameras. So that's my target line. And with all bunker shots, I would always set up square stance. I don't believe in opening your body opening to open the club face. Um, I'm not against opening the club face from an uphill lie when there is enough sand in the bunker. So the more I open the club face in a bunker, the more bounce we're using. So bounce is very quickly the fact that the the bottom edge here, the, almost the back of the wedge, is lower than the front of the wedge. And if I open the club face more so, I increase the amount of bounce. And bounce allows that club to glide or skim. So that works well when there's enough sand. Uh, quite often at the front of the bunker, there, there might not be enough um, sand. The greenkeepers will tend to smooth the edges to try and get the ball to feed down into the base of the bunker, but obviously it depends on your course and how it's set up. So you'd have to have a judgment of whether there is enough sand there or not. Off the upslope is gonna help me create more height anyway. So if I start opening that club face, we're gonna go really high. Now that's great if we need it to stop, but remember that does mean we're gonna to need to generate a little bit more speed if we're looking for some more distance. So I'm gonna be playing this first one actually with the club face pretty square. I'm gonna be setting up my body parallel to my target line, whether I open the club face or not. With all bunker shots, I'd like the ball to be forwards in my stance, nearing my lead heel, and that doesn't change. What I want in this slope, because it's trying to throw me out of balance, is actually a bit more stability. So if you need to go wide with your feet, go wide with your feet. I would always flare your lead foot out towards the target, because that's gonna help me push some pressure into it. So what I'm gonna be doing on this first option is actually leaning into the slope. And that's the one that's really good if I need the ball just to pop out of the bunker nice and high, but not roll or release too fast. So I've flared my lead foot out and I'm gonna lean into the slope. And I'm just going to be making a swing very actually similar to what I described in plug lies and bear lies. It's worth checking that video out that I put the link. You can't end up using a lot of body uh, when you're actually leaning so much pressure into the slope. So we're almost counteracting the slope, leaning our pressure into our lead leg, and we're gonna be feeling like it's a little bit more wrist cock here. And it's almost like I'm just gonna be popping the ball out of the bunker. So I'm gonna be leaning forwards, all my pressure forwards, and just feeling a slightly earlier wrist cock. And the slope is really gonna give me that height, that elevation. This works well to get height, and short distance, but it doesn't go very far. So just hit into the sand. I actually need, and I'm gonna have one more go at that, a bit more speed to get that. You saw it just pop straight up, didn't quite, it needed probably one more yard. So lean left, early wrist cock, and hit it quite hard. There we go. And that's just got that enough height, might go in, got that enough height just to land where I wanted it, but I can't hit that ball very far from there. I'm just gonna grab one more ball, having not meant to hit two <laughs> in that method. 
Right, so the other option I've got if I wanted more distance is setting my body actually at the angle of the slope that we would do off all grass lies, so uphill, downhill, would always say go with the slope. And that normally rings true, but the uphill bunker is the one time we can uh, do the opposite of that as I just showed you and lean into the slope. But if I wanted more distance, I'd actually try and go with the slope. So that is setting my body more at the angle of the slope. I find this a slightly higher risk, almost because I'm still trying to hit the sand, but I'm feeling like I'm almost creating more of a level blow rather than a downward blow. But if I wanted more distance, this is how I'd have to play it. Set my body at the angle of the slope, and make a golf swing from there. Keeping everything else the same, the ball's still forwards. You could open the face, but I think we're gonna get enough height from this anyway. So go with the slope, still aiming for about two inches, and normal golf swing. And we can get a little bit more distance from that. You can see that ball flew all the way to the flag rather than just popping out and stopping. So if you need more distance, I think you will have to go with the slope. If you're just looking for that ball to pop out and release, lean a little bit more into the slope. You can open the face, but only really when you need the elevation. You'll find off that upslope, you get more height anyway. So try them out in the practice bunker on a quiet game of golf, and you'll have a little bit more idea of what's gonna work best for you. In both those shots, I was using my 58 degree. If you've got a variety of wedges, you can experiment around with the sand wedge and the lob wedge. I've just got a 58 here that I'd use for most of my bunker shots. And I personally, I'd vary the face depending on the height that I'm looking for. If that video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel to never miss a video again. Cheers, guys.